This is one of my Red Hat server and while I am trying to mount a logical volume, it is giving me error. Mount slash db mapper myvg hyphen myLV1 cannot find in slash etc fstop. So we will discuss if this is an error or we are using the wrong command. I will discuss step by step I will, and I will try to understand you what we have to do to solve this issue. So friends, before starting this video, let me tell you, I am going to start a new RSCSA batch. It's a full course and course fees only 499 rupees. If you will register, link will be given in the description section. If you will register yourself, you will get 20 classes. It's an online class and each class duration is 1 hour and 30 minutes. So please go to the description section and register yourself. Now let's start the video. So here you can see I am using mount and this is the device. So before going to discuss about this command, let me tell you what is the format of the mount command. Format of the mount command is mount option device then mount point. This is the format of the mount command. And here we are using the mount command. We are not using any option. Then we are using the device and we are not using any mount point. So let me show you using a mount point. Use the same command add the mount point. Let's say we will use data one. Now you can see there is no error. And if we use the df hyphen h command, you can see there is a mount point added with the logical volume. So this is the correct command. But I can see this is also a correct command. This is not a wrong command. How? Because if we will use mount command without option and we will only use the device without the mount point at that time, it will check the fs star slash etc slash fs star. So what is fs star? fs star is the file system table. FS tab configuration file contains all file system table. So let me give you one example and I will open the FS tab to let you understand. Okay, clear the screen. Use ls blk command. You can see there is another logical volume that is myLV2. Okay, now we will try to mount the myLV2 using without the device name, without any mount point. So before mount logical volume 2 let me show you df happen h you can see only data 1 is mounted now try to mount the logical volume 2 you can see there is no error that means this command is also correct but previously you can see there is error cannot find in fs step but in this case there is no error so why this happens? Let me open the fs tab configuration file to show you. vi slash etc fs tab. Now you can see, as I told you, this is the file system table means this configuration file contains all partition related information and all file system information. And here you can see, previously there was an entry for the logical volume 2, my LV2. There was an entry. That's why while we are mounting the logical volume myLV2 without the device name, it is automatically picking the device name that is data2. Not device, it is automatically picking the mount point data2. Okay, that's why without any error, it is mounting the data2 directly. Command from the uh, FSTF configuration file, now you use df h you can see data2 was mounted. What command do we have executed? We have executed the mount, then myLV. We have mentioned the device. We have not mentioned the mount point. But it is picking the mount point from the fs tab configuration. Okay. So, as I told you, open the fs tab configuration file, add a mount point for the uh, myLV1.
I have added. And if you want to understand about all these parameters mentioned in the FSTAP, please comment me so that I will make a, another separate video for the FSTAP configuration. Okay. Now save the configuration file and unmount the uh, data one mount point using u mount command. Also unmount the data to directory, data to mount point. Now use df hyphen h. You can see there is no mount point available in the df hyphen h command. Now use the same command again to you can see there is no error. That means whenever we will use the device name with the mount command and we will not mention any option or any mount point at that time it will check the configuration file in the fstab and it will pick the device name from the fstab entry and it will automatically mount the mount point now check the df edge command you can see mount points are available so both commands are correct means if we will use mount device then mount point it is also correct and if you use mount device name without any mount point this is also correct but difference is whenever we will not use the mount point it will try to check the fstab configuration file and it will try to pick the, the mount point from the fstab and if there is a no entry it will give the error clear i hope this video is helpful for you and if you are new to my channel please subscribe my channel and don't forget to like share and comment Thanks for watching.